Hi, Hello Fools. I hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing wonderful. So today, oh, I'm sitting here now and I'm editing um, a series of videos. The very first one actually is a Airbnb um, essentials video. So um, I also will do a blog post on this as well and any other links to anything that, you know, if I mention will be in my Amazon storefront or down below, probably in the Amazon storefront. So I realized I didn't do an intro to this because sometimes I just pick up the camera and just start talking. But um, welcome to the channel. My name is Hope. And recently we just went on a, a drop of a dime trip um, to Disney World. And so I was looking high and low. Uh, Pinterest was my favorite place to go actually for tips and tricks um, to go straight to blog posts that went straight to the point. So I'm gonna get straight to the point with this video because when I was looking for um, Airbnb, what to pack or take with you, there was nothing out there that I could find that came up in Google search, did not come up. Um, so this hopefully will be helpful for someone else. Um, I love to be prepared. You guys know if you've been following my channel for from my kids going to college to if it's a holiday, we're doing something or whatever it is. We are usually, that's just my thing. I like to be prepared. So I hope this series, I'm gonna break it up so it won't be so long. It's what we packed for Disney, Airbnb, um, emergency cleaning, some items. Also a little cleaning caddy, not cleaning caddy, but a caddy that we had in a car. Uh, our Disney parking bag, park bags, and um, maybe some things I got from Amazon on the trip too. So they'll all be separate so it won't be so much. And then also like um, foods that I prepare or take with us on a trip. Again, I tend to overpack. Um, <laughs> you'll see that and I'll mention that. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if I'm missing something that you saw that it was helpful. But yeah, I went somewhere everywhere. I went to Etsy and I bought a planner and went to YouTube. I joined some Facebook groups, um, which was really helpful as well because they get straight to the point. But anyway, I'm gonna let you go. Bye. So we're staying in an Airbnb. Y'all might get this whole snack thing behind me every once in a while, a glimpse of that. And I have to take everything we're gonna take those chips out and put them in individual bags because i don't trust their hands <laughs> don't trust their hands and we're going on a trip no ma'am um y'all know what boys and kids so anyway this is we're going to an airbnb so this is like our essential bag this is our first time doing an airbnb uh we prefer to go to a hotel but they were just like really expensive and we found one that was nice um, so next time we may go and stay on the resort, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, or, you know, a nearby, what's it, Disney, I forgot what they call it, neighboring hotel. But anyway, uh, I have some sparkle paper towels. I wanted it specifically the three pack so we can have plenty, you know, just in case one, somebody make a spill or something like that in the car. But I'll show y'all the car bag. I have my fan. I have to have a fan. Mama actually had a I think hers was a Honeywell, but this is an Amazon Basics, and it looked just the same, and I just realized that it's not Honeywell. It is, I think that's the name of the brand. It's Amazon Basics. So, that'll be in my storefront, y'all. So, I hope this bag will suffice. This is my Aldi bag, and it's really sturdy, and <laughs> it keeps growing. So, I do have a um, roll of pa toilet paper. I am an overpacker, y'all. I probably don't need this, but um, just in case. Just in case, we got two rolls. Um, I watch Operation Nikki on Instagram and TikTok. I love her content. And so I started using, well, mama told me about these scrub daddies a long time ago, but I never thought about using them for like the sink, uh, the sink to clean, like your bathroom sink and stuff. So anyway, this is for cleaning. Scrub daddy. I have, these were some rest of a box set of gloves. So I put them in a Ziploc bag so I won't have the whole box. We have some game flings. I didn't know to get the, y'all know, the little small containers. You'll see my favorite softener here in a minute. Or to get the flings, but it's in a bag, so it shouldn't bust. So that's what I was concerned about. I have some Lysol fabric disinfectant, um, some scrubbing bubbles. I have the disinfecting mist. And I'm a little uh, precautious of this because 
we were sick last time at the Great Wolf Lodge and came home. So <laughs> that's why it might be a little, a little excessive, but you guys probably don't think so. Um, I use this to clean the toilets and I like these a lot. So I was like using the buying the Dollar Tree toilet brush things and then when they got nasty I threw them away and just using what is it lime away I love that cleaner though lime away or some kind of toilet bowl cleaner but I like these I like these better because you can just throw them away um this is this this I have several like two extra of these so this is clean I bleached it down and um that goes to this if you're not familiar and you just take this little lever like that and put in the trash Okay, y'all got some trash bags. I just got a small thing uh, for if somebody needs in a car. We have a pop-up hamper. Uh, this is a good idea. Someone, I think, put on Pinterest in a blog post to put, like, shoes in so they won't be all over the hotel room, but we're at an Airbnb. So this will be really for clothes because Josiah also strips, but he will take his clothes out. He probably has some pants in the living room. He'll just take off his clothes anywhere, anywhere y'all and leave them. And we're like, decide you're not three anymore. So these are laundry bags so they can put their dirty clothes in or they can wash them uh, before they come back home because so they won't have them all over the place and leave things. Uh, Dollar Tree and the other two were top shelf, the darker ones. And then JJ can take two to college um, so they're not just sitting there. Uh, I have this Scotch Bright tub scrubber and i got this from Lowe's. so i did see where walmart was it walmart i went to they had a, this as well but um i like to i have some videos of it i like to get some cleaning stuff from Lowe's, and then too you can do pickup from Lowe's, uh and you don't have to get out the car <laughs> um i got some spick and span some antibacterial bacterial spray I also got some concentrated bleach. I just put this in here, y'all. I may not need it. Um, and it was just sitting on my stockpile shelf. I got some 24-hour spring microband. I probably don't need this and the Lysol, but we got it. I got some wipes. And then I have these uh, travel disposable bedding, four-piece. I was going to order one more, but um, I only got two, y'all. And this is on Amazon. And I got that idea from Operation Nikki. And then I like to use these to clean the sink. Also, the other parts of the commode and stuff like that and throw these away. So, I have these. I hope this is a full pack and I haven't opened it because I didn't grab any new ones. And I need to grab some more. But I think that's it, y'all. Oh, no, it's not. So, in this bag, stuff that can leak. I probably really don't need this, but y'all know the laundry, this is fabric softener, but the laundry detergent that comes in these bottles from Dollar Tree or uh, the dollar stores, I didn't know to get the flings or to get this. Y'all let me know in the comments, what would you have done? Then I have some palm olive to wash dishes and I have some Bath and Body Works soap and then I just grabbed another soap. So... It'll be a soap in each bathroom so my boys will wash their hands. Okay, then I have some poopery, and I didn't know what bag to put that in my bag, or but I'll go digging for it. So I put it in this universal um, bag. And I think that's it, y'all, as far as like cleaning stuff. Yeah, that's it for that. Now I have this aromatherapy stress free spray. And I probably need to put this in the car bag. My boys like to release the past gas um, just all the time for no reason. Well, it is for a reason, but y'all know when you got little kids, like eight-year-olds, they just size is obsessed with that right now. So anyway, even when they're bigger, so that's what that's for. And I love this spray because um, even if it's not the stress-free, stress-free is my favorite at Bath & Body Works. Uh, fragrance aromatherapy but I just like the room concentrated sprays my aunt actually told me about them well my mama told me that my aunt had them and you only need like one or two sprays y'all if you do more than that you're gonna have to go out the room but it really um but catch them on sale y'all catch them when they're on sale okay let me see if I can get this stuff back in here right okay y'all so next up I'm going to pan out so you really can see. This is our car caddy. So this is just a extra bag that I was using like as a planner bag. It was 
it, they used to be like $3.99, y'all, or $5.99 at Michael's, but it's actually like an artist bag. So you can carry like your paintbrushes or your tools, your sketchbook and stuff like that in them. But we were using them as planter bags back in the day. But anyway, uh, I was going to use this. I knew exactly what I was going to do. So I have some paper towels in here. And I chose the Viva because they're smaller. And then I have some mints in here and some cough drops. I know for me, sometimes I will just start coughing. I don't know if it's something in the air or what. I'll just start coughing out the blue. So I always take water with me if I go somewhere in public, like in a classroom setting. So every time I go to class, I take water. Okay, let me take this out because it's better. So I have the paper towels. I have some Kleenex. So this is just like items that we will reach for or need in the car. Um, I also got a aromatherapy uh well i'm sorry not aromatherapy a diffuser so i'll take that off so you can see a little bit better and i got this off amazon i wanted one for my car uh and so this just i end up getting it for the uh rental car that we're gonna get used driving down there and we're gonna drive for a while so what it is is i I think I got this from, was it YouTube or a blog, y'all? So anyway, you can put the essential oils, let me get my words out, <laughs> in it and some purified water or whatever the directions tell you to do, just like your diffuser that you use in your house, but it's for your car. And this is probably the plug and stuff. Uh, you can put peppermint in there that will maybe help you with concentration if you're driving a long ways. Or maybe you can put it in the back and put maybe some lavender in it, but hopefully it don't come up to the front <laughs> for the kids or something, some cedar wood to calm them down, something like that, y'all. So it just depends, eucalyptus, whatever you want to put in there. So I'm glad I'm doing this because I have a running, I have another list too, of stuff to do and I don't have essential oils. Like I remember something, but I forget. And then I'll say, I'm going to get a pen. So let me do that now and write that down. Okay, y'all, so then I have some, oh, this is a multi five port USB charger because that's the that's the thing that's coming out of Josiah's mouth, JJ's mouth to make sure they can charge their devices. Uh, so I saw this on a blog post and I thought this would be helpful in the car. Then I have some baby wipes if they need to wipe their eyes or whatever, y'all, wipe their hands. Then I have the citronella, they were just in the junk drawer. Uh, wristbands and they may be old I feel like somebody opened that one anyway i threw that in there i have some lysol wipes and then some leaden uh throat drops because they act like they can't use regular cough drops sometimes and so just in case they need something or that hopefully we're gonna pray that nobody be catching germs out here in these disney streets so or wherever i have some odo band Odoban is a fabric and a car freshener. And then I have some Purell hand sanitizer, some more tissues. Over here, I have my shades in my um, Zillu uh, bag. And then I have some hand lotion over here. And is that it? Yeah. Then I need to put another one. I just have one of these tied to go wipes but i also have the pen because i always drop something on my clothes y'all always um and then i put this in here in case i need to go to the bathroom i don't use these a whole lot but you just you know it's hot so then um i have some in my part bag and i have some in my regular bag and i probably have some in my purse in uh, another bag so i just stuck that in then this is a adapter for my phone and i probably need to get another one like get jason's um, out his car and put in here and then I have a pen then we have some mask over here we haven't really been wearing masks like that now I do see people around every now and then wearing a mask maybe we go somewhere and we just feel uncomfortable then that's what that's for so that's it for our car bag I'm trying to think is there anything missing other than maybe uh, another one of these for the phone charger Oh, I need to get my mount off of my car. Yeah, I need to do that. So I'm going to put that on my list. Okay. All right, y'all. So these are toilet seat covers. 
So this is also in this bag. I don't know how I missed it. I just folded them up. So Cottrell had uh, about, they came in a pack when he went off to college. And so I made sure I brought them back home. And so he had like two or three and they're in like our linen closet on the side. Uh, let me show you these toilet seat covers. So I had like several boxes of these. You get 250 sheets in them. I think one box he did go through. You got like four. I don't think five. Oh, my glasses are coming off. Um, I don't think five toilet covers. But anyway, I just took out several of them and then I folded them and I put them in a Ziploc bag. So that's in there. I have boys. Of course, they're going to stand up. But just in y'all. Okay. Then in each by in each person's part bag, I did put some as well, and I'll show that again in a separate video. Hey y'all, so this is the bag that I got from Shein. It's um it's the thin bag, but it was one that I already had out. I may could find something a little bit better, but I think it works pretty well. I can't remember how much it was, y'all, but you it has a pocket here, and you can put this on your strap or your on your luggage bag, your handle your handle so this has all of our essential stuff like medicines first aid stuff like that so let's get started but well, i think i did a good job packing everything in here i do dread a little bit taking it apart but i want to show you guys so um i made my own first aid kit this was this bag itself came from Shein as well so I'll see if I can find it, but they probably have something similar because I think I saw that it sold out. So let's open this first. Okay, guys. So I like to look at the pictures on Shein because sometimes when you open up the empty vessel of the bag or whatever, it just looks so plain. So <laughs> we're like, what do I do now? It looks so different or I had tons of ideas of what I was going to do with it with the picture. So they do have like a little picture that comes with the bags to kind of let you know, um, hey, you can add this to it. So anyway, it does come with these little pockets. So in here we have alcohol packs, um, a little knife, but I think that came a part of a set or something because that's why it's in here. And oh, I had another first aid kit from the Dollar Tree. That's what happened. And that's where these items came from. The little scissors, the safety pin. Here's some tape if you need to use some gauze. And then I got a thermometer and then the thermometer sheaves. So I got this because when we went to Great Wolf Lodge the very last day, um, Josiah sh had a fever. He sh struck a fever. Um, and it was kind of hot. And I could not. I had to door dash a thermometer. And I had to door dash some Tylenol, so I didn't take it with me. So that's why y'all might seem like I'm a little uh, over-prepared or something. Because he just started feeling bad out the blue, where he just wanted to get out the water, y'all. I had some mole skin. This was recommended from several different people on their videos, because your shoes may rub. They normally don't rub, but because you are walking so much. So I saw where uh, Target was the cheapest, y'all. You can order it from Amazon and use like your little, I don't know how well these scissors are, but make sure you have some little scissors to cut the mole skin because it comes in a roll. Like if it's a big group of y'all, you may want to do that. But anyway, Target was the most affordable. I think this is like $2. You get three in here and then they're already kind of cut already. They're not in a roll. So I have like a lot of... Um, band-aids and stuff that were around the house i did get a few disney band-aids i think it was toy story um some cortisone i could not find for some reason this is actually anti-itch i believe yeah i could not find the stuff i'm losing my word for it uh i looked in dollar tree Walmart was out of it, so it may be a shortage of it, and Pop Show didn't have it either. Y'all know the stuff that you put on your wound went after you done cleaned it and everything, that that cream. So, I could not find that. So, several different Band-Aids in there. Oh, and then I have some Bleed Stop. Um, I think I, the other one, it comes in a two-pack. You can get this from Walmart, and the other pack is in my car. So, I have a first aid kit in my car. Um, I have these Theracare heat wraps. I got this couponing. It's a small medium, so 
a little small for us, but uh, perfect for JJ or whatever. It's just as long as you got something. So anyway, I have some dolls over here. And this was a part of most of these items. A first aid kit that had a lot of things that expired in it, like Tylenol and stuff like that. So I just took it out. So here is some gauze, uh, this light stick here. Um, here's an instant cold pack. So I think you kind of break it up and move it around and then it starts to get cold. Then I have a survival wrap and then I have some gloves in here. Yeah, all this was part of another kit. I just took it apart. And then some icy hot pain relieving cream. Now, let's see if we can go through this quick. So, here is the first bag. I got these bags from Amazon. So, I remember JJ went on a trip and Dollar Tree had some bags at one time like this. And I have not seen them come back. And they were really helpful with packing when he went to Washington, D.C. with his class. So, anyway, I went on Amazon because I also wanted to organize and separate some things. Let me see if I have them. So they have like all different sizes, y'all. Here's a small bag here. This is the picture I was talking about, y'all. Because when you get it, it'll be so plain. And you're like, what do I do with it? So all these little bags that you get. Um, I did get these from Amazon. I do like these. You'll see that in my part bag. But all these different sizes, and you get a lot of them. So they... I'll put the link to that as well. But I got it for my interior design classes to organize like my supplies and stuff. So let's open this bag. All right, y'all. So I have a poncho. This is an extra one. And this is actually a kid's. So Josiah has one in his part bag. I have two of these wipes. A lot of the stuff I already had, I may got a few things um, that was in my, like, my stockpile. And I made sure to open these and not open them, but lift them and make sure they're still moist. Because y'all know them wipes, especially if you leave them in the car. Once you open them, that's it. So then I have these antibacterial wet wipes. These are, you know, good if you're going to eat somewhere you can clean off the table and clean your hands and they're safe to use of course you can use Lysol wipes but not Lysol wipes to wash wipe your hands off I have these uh washcloths that somebody need to these are really good from Dollar Tree they have several different several different ones and stuff that you can choose from these are also ponchos I had these these were actually were in my was these in my car yeah these were actually in my car so if we don't use those they're going right back in my car and those are just extras just in case like it rains and we don't have any for the next day. So I have some more wipes and those came from Dollar Tree. Most of these came from Dollar Tree. We have some Eucerin. I love to use this because my hands are always dry washing them. And then I have some screen cleaner wipes. Those are extra. Let's see, we have some Downy, Downy Wrinkle Release. I think I got those from Walmart, y'all. Uh, some Tresemme, somebody need to wash their hair. My hair is braided, so I don't plan on washing my hair. Uh, actually, I may take this out because I have a small one in another um, container somewhere. It's in Jason's bag, actually, in his part bag. Okay, here's the extra mole skin and the skin sunscreen sports uh lotion so that's it for that bag all right y'all so i was able to get everything back in there in this bag i have some hydro hydrogen peroxide and i put it in a ziploc bag in case it spills and then someone recommended this i don't remember in a blog post or a video the epsom salt foot gel so i got that and i got that from walmart online so they didn't have it in the store some petto bismol sometimes josiah's stomach will just start hurting out of the blue um so i got that and then also some eye drops let's see we have some alka seltzer i just got three of those some petto kids actually we don't use petto bismol a lot because this is actually the petto bismol and i think it's fine that we had we're probably eating so many different foods so i got it yeah, that I had when we went to Great Wolf Lodge, so it's okay. Here is a pack of toilet seat covers. And then I do have some COVID tests because some people did recommend 
bringing these two come in a set i was just gonna put one in a bag and i was like no it's four to five of us so let me grab two i didn't take up a lot of space i have some tylenol for Saya kids uh the eye drops i think one is for irritation one is for lubrication lubricant so i just put that in there let's see we have some benadryl itch stopping cream uh i yeah, yeah i got some duplicates so it'd be all right i have some modium ad in case somebody needs that um i love modium ad really you probably don't need both but i don't really use petto bismol so I kind of don't know exactly how it worked, even growing up. So other than an upset stomach, I don't know if it stops from diarrhea or not, but I know this does. So I also got this. If someone has a tinge in their throat, I feel like they might be coming down with something. We got some emergency as well. Uh, we have some uh, preparation, preparation H. So somebody needs that, wipes, and then that's all I have. So that's why I only have two. I have some extra batteries, and this will be for our fans. Wait a minute. Yeah, the boys' fans, their fans. Our fans, we have to charge, and their fans use batteries. I have some Tums, and then I have this um, pain relief cream. Yeah, arthritis cream. And I have this. I don't use this a lot. I use it once. I just got it. And it's um, because Jason and I both, y'all, was wearing a brace. And uh, my feet don't hurt anymore. Y'all know if you was following me about that on the community tab and Instagram. But anyway, I'm taking my brace. It'll be in my part bag. And I'll have comfortable shoes and stuff like that. But anyway, this is for pain for that. And then a pain patch for that and i think i got that coupon and so i haven't used those before that's it for that bag hey y'all and then y'all if it seemed like it's a little excessive to you um i'm sorry but <laughs> i'm not sorry but as well i remember going to the beach one time in riceville and jason got the pink eye and we had to go to urgent care even though none of this stuff other than the eye drops will help um with that but yeah, you just don't want to spend time going, unless you need to go to urgent care, go. But, you know, doing things or going to go get something and having to find the store, go get it and spend the money and you already got it at home. So this last bag, let's open this up. Oh, I have a poncho. This one I got for really low. I didn't want to put that inside my bag, but this one is mine. <laughs> it's gonna be, It's normally in my car and I haven't used it yet. Yeah, I don't remember where I got that from, but it was on clearance or something. Let's see. Um, yeah, I might put take the other off off out. Okay, so I have this off. I got this from. Uh, it was a Walmart. It was Walmart pickup. I actually wanted the little small ones that you can put on your in your purse or something, but they didn't have that. Uh, I have some Desitin, so this is good for, of course, for babies and stuff, but. If stuff is rubbing and chaffing and or you just out there sweating and yeah, this is bomb. So I actually was using A and D ointment for years. Um, and mama told me to try Desitin as well because it just depends on what's rubbing. <laughs> Y'all, it just depends. So um, my grandfather, they use this for him, uh, for him. So that's why I had to get a new bottle of that. And then I got some nasal relief. This is for anyone. So in my bag, in my personal bag, I have like some saline, but you can't share stuff like this. So that's why I had, I just got one from Dollar Tree, um, just in case like JJ needs it, maybe Sai, but really JJ, because we're going to a different climate. So I have my own, again, private stuff, but I have some um earplugs and jason uses these at work so when he was in security now he's in operations um he uses he has these all over the place in the house just like those safety glasses so and gloves so i grabbed some of this i didn't know if my brother was going with us or not um because in a car he may snore so or i also got them for the fireworks as well so i did put uh i think two in my part bag for josiah and then um yeah i got some extra in here so then i have some spray sunscreen uh 
sports and then i have one for kids so i did have some upstairs that i forgot that was in my linen closet that i organized but they ex it expired do you guys use expired or barely expired sunscreen because sometimes you don't get to use it all but i guess this is something you don't need to use expired but do y'all i'm just curious all right so then i just have a bunch of sanitizer the bath and body Works sanitizer that i can refill my purse with and then I have these pain relief patches that I got from Dollar Tree. I took it out of the box, y'all. But i never seen these before. They're really small. And you get 20 of them. And they look like, it looks like it's like a Band-Aid. So, if you have something hurting. So, if you just want to know, I have blackberries and basil, strawberry pound cake, um, afternoon apple picking. If I don't use them, of course, they're coming back home blackberry and basil oh, there's two different packaging okay um they're coming back home and i and i usually keep them in the linen closet in a little basket on the um shelf so i think i shared that in that linen closet video i think i did all right y'all so we're gonna put this back in here so that wasn't bad because i was like i'm gonna have to unpack all that stuff and then in jason's bag i don't know if i'm gonna share jason's bag bag and then I'll do the food bag last. And I think that's it, y'all. I want it to condense everything as small as possible and don't seem like we're taking a whole lot. And right now, that looks like a whole lot. I may not take all that stuff. Okay, y'all. I almost forgot about the medications here because they were sitting on the table separate because I was going to put them in my other bag. But here you can kind of see an overview of the medicines we would take with us. Um, a lot of people, well, the, let's start with a circle one. So I used this and it was very convenient when we flew to Vegas because uh, you can easily see what I had. Um, I had, I may have added some extra things in here, but my melatonin, stool softener, sometimes when you are changing your diet or you go somewhere else, you may need that. And we, everybody saw that in my family. Um, some Benadryl, if your allergies just act up and you need to sleep well that night um sometimes i'll get the itchies all of a sudden and it's my allergies every blue moon allegra is non-drowsy that's what i normally take and also jj tylenol um if i start you know if i have cramps or some minor um back pain not back pain but just pains uh tylenol and i don't need an NSAID two of my blood pressure medicine jason had his own medication and his own bag so he can keep up with it and then you'll see that i have a leave and i think ibuprofen you may may not it just depends you may not need both of those but in case you have some kind of some kind of swelling that you need to reduce whether if you have knee pain you just don't know what you may need or what may happen you may twist your ankle or whatever so that's what's up there at the top um i think i had some pepsid ac or something like that and i can't remember what else at this angle but um oh also my iron medication as well so i hope that's helpful i did get both of these from dollar tree but i couldn't find another circle one but those are really convenient the little circle ones more so i think than the long ones if you can find those at dollar tree or pop shelf that'll be helpful and as well, a lot of people who go to Disney quite often, they recommend the Tylenol because, and I did need it the first day, it'll be crowded, kids screaming, you're frustrated, you're hot, you're ill, you may get a headache. Um, also with the um, NSAIDs like the Aleve or the ibuprofen, it'll help with like the swelling, like I said again. So a lot of those people are veterans of Disney. Um, they recommended those medications. And I can't think of, see what this pink one is to the right but you guys can scan back and see um what all the ones i had in the longer container all right y'all so i got it all back in there and it's good to go so we've been putting our stuff over here um i have my distilled water normally i wait till i get to the location and i buy my distilled water that's for my cpap machine but um and then if it's just a weekend trip or something what i'll do is i'll pour it in a little or i'll drink the water or pour out something a water bottle my kids then left on the counter 
and I'll put distilled water in those bottles. But because we're going for four to five days, I went ahead and put just took the whole jug.